I'm not going to waste anybody's time by doing any sort of unboxing part of this video. I'll show you how I'm going to set it up. We'll take some pictures and video, hopefully of some wildlife, and then we'll assess the quality of the pictures and how the camera performed. It's pointing too far up in the air, so we'll just take a little stick, put it behind there. Now the camera is angled slightly down, so the point where we're going to be taking pictures is probably about five meters away. Maybe it's four meters. Too close and it'll be too blurry. Too far away and it won't make for a very good video. Okay, so once it's set in position, we can open it up, go from off to set up, just to check that the batteries are okay. It comes on. We've just set the menu up so we know that it is set to our preferences. So then we can go from setup to on. A light at the front flashes to let us know that it is primed and ready to take pictures and video. And we're good to go. And remember, if you're setting this somewhere where people would have access to that particular piece of land, you want to hide it, you want to disguise it. A lot of people do nick them, so hide them well if it isn't on your own property. Okay, so I've had the camera set in numerous locations over the last week or two. I've got a lot of footage, I've edited it down to some reasonable shots, which I'll show you in a second. That's it set there, trying to get the Kingfisher. I really wanted to try and get a video or at least some pictures of the Kingfisher. Haven't managed that yet. If I do manage that, you'll see that on my YouTube channel, which is called Thousand Yard Stare. That's where I'm going to be uploading all my game cam videos. This has performed quite well, so check out this footage. It says it's HD and, you know, some people swear that it's HD, but I don't think it is. It's probably, well, it's nearer 720, possibly a little bit less. That's still okay, you can still identify the animal. You'll see from the shots before that some of the, the colours are nice and vibrant. It works well at night, the detection range is good. The battery life is actually excellent. I think of all the cams that I've got, and I've got about mm, eight or nine now, the battery life on this one is way better than any of the other ones. I've taken approximately 750 30 second clips and the battery indicator has hardly moved. This thing will last for months and months and months and that's really good to know because I intend setting this one in some pretty remote places and leaving it there for many months. Picture quality is good. In fact, it's probably better than the majority of the, the different cameras that I've got. Most of the cameras I've got are 12 MP or even 14 MP. I think I've got two or three 16 MP ones, and this one certainly, it, it, it's up there, you know? So picture quality good, 
Video quality, okay, not outstanding. Battery life is awesome. Setup is really, really easy. It's lashed down, it's been snowing, it's been frosty whilst I've had this one out, and it still works fine. So it is waterproof. Uh, it, obviously, if it's waterproof, it's dustproof as well. It doesn't seem to spook the animals, which is good. It, the ability to take a 64 gig memory card is also a really good bonus because, as I mentioned, I'm gonna set this one right out in the wilds and it'll be there for a hell of a long time. I wanna fill up a full card with footage. So would I recommend this one? Yes, absolutely. The performance is very good, the build quality is good, the ease of access is good, the ability to take 64 gig memory card is really useful, and the battery life is outstanding. Ultimately, if you're gonna use cameras a lot, if the battery lasts twice or three times as long as it will in a similar camera, effectively you're gonna be saving money every time you use it. So I would give this one the YouTube thumbs up, the Amazon five stars, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.